Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby and today I'm going to be dealing with root rot on my Scrammy Far Room. So as you can probably tell by the lighting, it is, I think it's like five o'clock here and it's like getting dark. So I am quite limited to the time I've got to do this. Um, but once I noticed it, I, I'm not one of those people that I can just leave it for tomorrow and tomorrow's a working day and today's Sunday so I kind of want to deal with it now um but I think and I'm pretty sure my scrammy farum which I absolutely love has root rot on one of the growth points so it's got three growth points maybe even four um and one of the growth points the the lower leaves were dropping they were going like bright yellow and then just dropping and I was just easily able to just like take them off and then now the upper leaves, like the really mature leaves, are starting to go yellow. And I've noticed on the woody stalk, it looks so dehydrated, which is a sign of root rot. So I'll just show you the plant and we will just get started with treating it. And before we get into the video, I would love to ask you if you would subscribe to my channel, if you enjoy my content and would like to see more of me and give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on how you feel about it at the end. Okay, so this is the plant. Um, and as you'll probably see, like it's got crispy bits and this is actually two plants in one pot which I got for £3.50 each plant so um it, it was an amazing bargain anyway but it didn't actually come with like these have just become yellow like literally in two days um because I checked on it um on Friday um and if you have a look here you go so this is a good healthy stem but this one looks so dehydrated and that will be because the root system will be damaged or unhealthy so it's not actually getting water to the plant therefore it's turning yellow and i'm gutted because although this is damaged here it's such a mature leaf like scrammy farms that you can buy these days are like um they're more like of the small leaves like here even that but that like, these are huge um, so I'm really gutted. Um, this one's okay. Um, this one isn't okay. This is a new leaf and it's like flopping, like yellowing. But it all comes from the same growth point. So can you see? It all comes from this one. Um, so I'm going to get in there and have a look and see what's going on. Okay, so this is probably the best way to have you, just so you can see what I'm doing rather than see my face. Um, but this is the area. So this is the stem where um it seems all right here but it's literally just like that bit there that's got um the root rot so here um and this long one is the one that's um going now so it is i think it's pro progressively getting up and also this one is uh so that one is attached to this one so it's actually this growth point too so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out. Um, I have something here to put the um, the plant in until um, I know what I wanna do with it, just so I'm not leaving it on the floor. Um, but I was thinking about, um, this is like kind of room temperature water. I was thinking about maybe um, kind of bringing it back to life through water propagation, and, you know, cutting off the roots. Um, I just feel like I would have wanted to do this. <laughs> My scissors are so fun. Um, I would want to do this like when it's like daylight outside um, and I don't really like like I always say and I said in my winter care video I wouldn't repot things at this time of year like we're going into November um, unless there's a reason to I need to get my scissors in the band um, yeah so unless there was like a reason to and obviously this is a reason um, like this is a new a new leaf and it's annoying because when I bought these, um, they, they've put out so much new growth recently and I bloody wanted to put them in one pot. So I feel like I've ruined this. But hey, you live and learn. Um, so I'm not going to beat myself up about it. Um, I feel like maybe this pot size was too small for that many growth points. But eh, oh well. Right. Oh no, this... <gasps> Oh, all this side as well is part of the same stem. Oh, for God's sake. That's really worrying. You see? Can you see all this? New leaf, like new growth there. 
um, but I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, look, that's all wrinkly and that is not good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a little digging. I watered this yesterday. And when I, when I notice a plant is not happy, I panic and I water them, which is probably why it has root rod. I think I put the moss pole through the roots. Oops, that's coming out. I hate doing this. Oh, I'm so sorry. And I can see like a whole new leaf there as well. Oh, he's just so sad, but he's still healthy. I don't get it. Okay, so these are coming out. I don't want to pull too much, obviously. <gasps> Oops. See, that's how unhealthy that was. It doesn't look too bad. I would actually wait. I'm so. I think that that little hole there. Can you see that? I think that little hole there is the start of the rock. For God's sake. And this leaf is gone. Look at that. I might just take that off. I put. I. I did that. I abs. Like I pulled on that and it came off. So I don't know why I'm annoyed with myself. I was just like, oh, I wonder if this one will come off too. Hmm. Okay, it's got a bit more resistance. <laughs> I'm literally playing with fire here. Um, I don't know why I'm surprised that they're falling off when I'm yanking on them, but I was ever so gentle and... Yeah, I see, they're, they're a bit better. Um, right, so I'm going to take all the soil off. Um, yeah, I would say... Okay, so instantly... My floor is going to be a mess. Instantly, you can see this um, this root here, but usually, you know, when you can see that fine little line, am I helping you? There we go. Can you see that? Maybe you can see it against my yellow poof. That fine line that shouldn't be the case. Um, all the roots should look like white and healthy. Obviously, like if they've been in dirt and stuff, then it's fine. But it doesn't look that good. So I think what I've decided in the last like half a second i'm going to get the water um, the, the the soil off and then i'm going to put it in water and um, to kind of re-establish the roots but i'm going to leave it in my trusty little thing for now to stand it up um it's not still up at all and then this one oh so that tiny tiny little growth point it's just like one leaf, that one, can you see? This guy is literally just on his own. The other growth point that's not looking good, basically the entire bloody plant, is this one. But saying that, oh, why, do, why do I keep doing that? Oh, I'm literally just taking the plant apart. Um, Oh, I don't know because these. Oh, do you know what? I'm just gonna take it out. No, no, no. Oh, this is literally like such a. I'm having a bloody disaster. I've literally lost like one, two, three, four leaves, and two of them were fine. How annoying! Oh, I I'm to I'm very scared about touching this plant now. stop me this is very unhappy this plant it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay right so my scummy farm is not big and beautiful anymore but it was fine it grew like mad and to be honest i bought it for three pound fifty because it was in such a state so i feel like maybe like when I got it, it was literally like, you know when they're so saturated, you think, how is this alive? Like when I bought it home from the market, I was just like, what is going on? This plant is like drowning. Um, so maybe it's slowly 
trying to make myself feel, feel like a better plant parent here, but maybe it's slowly coming out, like it's like slowly dying because of that. But then again, I've literally probably got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, probably about seven, eight leaves from this in the last, well, since I bought it home. Um, and I think I bought it midsummer. I can't get this out. I've been knotted it all around. But I do want to show you, I'll do it now. Can you see this point here? Can you see that new leaf? You can't see that. Can you see that new leaf? That's very cool. Um, I've got like this makeshift tripod at the moment, so excuse, excuse that. Um, I've lost myself, but yeah, so that's the good, good one. I'm gonna down touch it. And this is the, the these leaves. That one was ripped, but yeah, so I do think it is, it doesn't look the healthiest. If it was healthy, it wouldn't come off that quickly. But um, look at my nails, they're disgusting. Um, can you see, I really want you to be able to see what I am looking at. So I feel like it's really helpful. I don't know why my phone doesn't, feel like I'm gonna give up on this um anyway there's like there's <laughs> can you see that you can see it a little bit there can you see the brown around the edges that's rot and just to make you feel guilty as well it's like the sap is all coming out like it's bleeding <laughs> it's literally like chaos if you look on the floor right now um, I have a, I feel like, I don't know if this would work, that bit's healthy, that bit's healthy. That's annoying though because I feel like I want to cut it up and, because there was a new growth point like just here starting, I feel like I want to take it out, take the roots off and then propagate some of the nodes but then I'll be potentially sacrificing these two. Do you know what, actually, I think I'm gonna do it. The roots clearly aren't happy. I'm gonna cut here. You see, there's a node here, uh, here and here. I'm gonna cut about here to give, in case like the rock goes up here, then I can keep cutting um, in case it develops over time. So I'm gonna cut about here and have that rooting which is not the right time of year to do this, by the way, but I feel like I could potentially use this anyway. Um, and then I'm gonna cut here so I can make the most out of propagating the, the nodes. Um, so that means ripping these roots out isn't really gonna damage it too much because I do look away if you care for plant roots because this is not coming out. Maybe I just completely squished them in here and then now they're just feeling it. It's not usually this difficult to get. Here okay, they're coming. I wouldn't do this if I cared about the room system, by the way. It's because I've decided that I'm no longer giving this plant a chance. I mean, I wouldn't, they're wet, obviously, don't get me wrong, because I literally watered it last night. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to sort that one out. And then, are there any roots in there that I can get out that don't need to be in there? I don't know. I mean, it's in a really light airy mix. Um, now that looks absolutely pathetic compared to what it used to. I love, look at this, it's so, that's a new one, it's so fluffy. Um, okay. Right, I'm gonna move that there. 
So now, um, I lost this one, this one, this one. I'll keep these. This one, this one, and this one. Look at that. So pretty. And they're all leaves as well, so they've all broken off from the stem. So you can't, there's no propagating them, because obviously you need nodes. What a shame. Okay, so it's getting really dark now, so I'm going to quickly just show you what I am working with, and I might have to do this off camera, I don't know, just because it is like, it's getting really dark. Um, I hate the winter. So um, these are the roots that I am left with. There's nothing in here that's um, too, I mean, they don't, they just look severely dry. Like they don't look like they're, they're rotting. And bearing in mind, I watered them last night. Um, I am seeing a few that don't look healthy. Um, like, you know, when they've got like this, that, that bit, that kind of like the thinner stem um, roots because obviously the outside is just like rotted off. But I don't know, nothing, they're not what I thought they'd be. They're better than I thought they'd be, but obviously the plant is not happy. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, um, probably off camera, because it really is, it gets so dark in my flat and I'm really sorry. Um, I need to kind of look into some lighting, but I found a node here. And then this is obviously the healthier bit of the um, newer growth. So rather than cutting it he like just below this bit, I'm gonna cut it here because then this to me seems really really healthy you see how this is green and then this is like a woodier kind of like older mature bit um i worry that if i cut it here and then there's potentially if it if it doesn't propagate well in water and then it rots because it's gone to water then i don't have any kind of like backup but if i cut here and it does rot then i can you know i can save it um so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna cut there I don't have any um, sharp scissors. I don't have shears. Well, I do have shears, but they're really rusty. So I don't want to add to the problems. So I'm just going to see. Ah, it worked. I hate doing that. Um, I mean, so it seems fine. It's just, yeah, just, there's no particular rot there. We're never going to see that. I think my phone is just, yeah, just, you have to trust me, it seems good. So I'm gonna put that in water, which I have here, handy. And then with this, okay, what I think I might do is, there's a node or an aerial root there, there, new growth here, and look at that little baby. And then, uh, that thing that's a goner, but I might try it, you know, there's no harm in trying. So I'm gonna, cut in the internodes um so i've got one two three four points i'm gonna cut here and i think i saw this um well i see loads of people doing this but um i think it was plant life in the tropics i really love her channel and like i remember her taking no cuttings of like a more a woodier plant like a, a woody stem i'm pretty sure so i'm gonna do that i i'm not gonna do it in moss I don't know. I don't know. I might try it because I've just recently started using moss. So I might try it. But I might do half and half. I might do half in water and then half of them in um, in moss. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take cuttings. <laughs> My knife. My scissors aren't going through this. Okay, so I nearly broke my hand doing that. Yes, I think I think that is doesn't it doesn't look that healthy. I'm gonna I'm adamant to show you this. So if I do this, can you see it? Actually, it smells like it smells like cinnamon. It smells like a yeah, it smells like cinnamon. What the hell? Um, but can you see it doesn't look the healthiest? If I press my camera, I don't know whatever so i'm not sure if this will work oh, that's so sad 
I really want you to see this. It looks like it's like bleeding. It's like gone red and dotty. It's really sad. And it's literally dark now. So I might have to end this video here. But I'm taking the cuttings. They literally like broke really, really easily, which makes me think that these will not be successful. I'm trying to take, I'm trying to take no cuttings to propagate from a root rot stem. Like this isn't gonna work, but you know, let's be hopeful. Um, so I'm gonna, I've got four here. I'm gonna let them callus over. Um, I wanted to do that because I felt like the, the root rot would just go up the entire plant and then it would eventually get to this bit and this, this has potential, like it's still growing. So um, I didn't want to kill that bit. Um, and then I've got this bit to deal with as well. Um, so these are the ones that I checked and they feel better. This is the bit that I was really alarmed about. Like this is what made me think that there's something seriously wrong going on here. Um, so yeah, this is the bit that I was, that caught my attention. So I think, um, I don't know how, I'm g there's no way of, that's just there, you know? Like these, I can't like exactly cut below it because these bits join onto that. Um, so I'm going to, with this one, I'm going to take all the soil off and I'm just going to put it in water and cut off any roots and stuff. Like just take it back to the beginning. Um, and then again, I've got new growth. Maybe it put itself under so much pressure, you know, because this looks yellow and dying, this one. So yeah, I know I forced that off more, but it doesn't look, that that was the the other part, um, bit of the plant that caught my eye. Um, but yeah, I can't lose this. Look at that, I love it. Um, and then I think the rest of the plant, um, I think the rest of the plant will be completely fine. So you can see that they see, it seems okay. It's obviously a hell of a lot smaller now that I've just completely demolished it, but it seems all right. So yeah, I'll just keep an eye on that and um, put that back where it was. Okay, so what I'm going to do with the nodes, I have decided is I've got some soil in there um, and I've got my nodes here. So, firstly, um, I'm not sure about this one. Um, it doesn't look like it's got any nodes on it at all. I just thought I could see potentially some there, but they're a bit small, so I'll leave that one. Um, but the ones like this, you can see there's like a, like, there's kind of like an activated node there. Um, and there's that new growth point. You want that pointing up. So I'm literally just gonna put that in there uh with this one there you go it's not really activated that one it's really really short they just need to be going up and i'll do that the same with all of them so there we go that one is quite substantial and then yeah this one there and i've allowed them all to callus over now you can see that they're completely calloused over which is great so they're all in there like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dampen just dampen it a bit so now I've um, kind of dampened the soil a little bit not too much I'm going to put it in my bag and it's the humidity that we want from this because obviously there's not much going on with those nodes. Um, I'm just going to leave that in front of the window now because the light is quite low. Um, like I say, if I was doing this in spring, I'd feel quite confident, but I've I've not done this kind of um, thing in the winter. Um, so I'm hoping that it will be okay, but because we know it's not growing season, I'm a bit unsure. And I also just wanted to show you this one. This is a baby squamifarum. I actually took this cutting um, when I first bought it at home, so about three or four months ago. And you can see, I just literally put it in water, so all of this is just wet. And it's not, I usually, like, if I have, like, 
bits like this, like um, into nodes in the nodes and there's nothing on them. I have this big jar of water where I just shove them all in there and it's kind of a surprise. Like when things start growing, you're like, oh, what's this? Obviously I know this is the scrummy farum stock because it's quite unique. Um, but yeah, you've got like, you've got new roots here and then you've obviously got a very, very cute little um, juvenile leaf there, which is exciting. So I think I will keep that in water because it seems to be doing just fine in that. Um, the stem is quite woody, so it's quite, it's okay. It's not obviously rotting at all, which is good. Um, these roots are rotting a bit, if I'm honest, but obviously this is new growth there. So I'll probably cut them off now. Um, and I'll put that back in the water and see how it goes. And I'll probably pot this up in, um, in springtime. I might change it depending on if it's progressing good or not, but I don't know, it seems okay in there for now. So yeah, that's another little experiment which seems to be working. So thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. As I said, I'm really sorry about the lighting. It wasn't a video planned to film. Unfortunately, I did notice that I had root rot and I thought it was a really good way to show you what I noticed and what I'm gonna do to potentially save some of the plant. So if you do want plant updates on this plant, follow me over on Instagram and I'll put my handle down below and also on the screen somewhere and it's abby underscore bloom. And I do share my plant updates over there on my story. So you'll probably see if it works out for me or not. I'm not too confident about the nodes that obviously have root rot potentially happening because well, obvious reasons, but um, the rest of the plant, like the top cuttings and everything, I'm sure they will be absolutely fine. Although my only concern is it's not the time of year to propagate. So fingers crossed it works out for me because this is such a pretty plant. And hopefully it's not gonna to be too long before I can kind of get these established leaves again. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.